Hey everyone, it's me, Matt. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be planting up a container herb garden. So I was back in California last week visiting friends and family, and one of my friends asked me to put together a video on growing herbs in containers. And then the very next day, one of you commented on one of my past videos asking for the exact same thing. So that's what I'll be doing today. I'll be planting up the coolest container herb garden. So let's get into it. Before I dive into all the herbs I selected for today's project, I wanted to show you this amazing container I picked up yesterday. So I actually bought it from Home Goods. It was about $50. It's a terracotta pot. It was made in Mexico. It's got this beautiful black and white glazed design painted on it. I love it so much. It's got so much personality and I thought it would make the perfect container herb garden for my yard. So you'll notice there's one large opening here at the top of the container and there's several smaller ones around the sides. So this type of container is called a strawberry container and it's typically used to grow strawberry plants. So the main strawberry plant gets planted here at the top and then as runners grow off the main plant, they're planted in all the openings around the sides. So I thought this type of container would be perfect for a container herb garden because I can tuck different types of herbs not only in the top of the container, but in all of the openings around the sides of the container too. If you want a strawberry container for your own herb garden or flowering plant project, make sure to check out Home Depot. I was just there the other day and saw they had these terracotta containers available. They were on sale at my local Home Depot for about $25, marked down from about $45. All right, so diving into selecting the plants for your herb garden, I think the best way to start is by looking at the ingredients and the seasoning blends you're already using in your kitchen. This is the Italian seasoning blend that I use almost every day. You can see here on the back, the ingredients are marjoram, thyme, basil, rosemary, savory, and oregano. So I use this as my starting point for my list of plants that I wanted for my container herb garden. You can see here, I picked up a marjoram plant. I don't think I've ever seen a marjoram for sale at any of my local garden centers, so I was really excited to get my hands on one. So just some quick background on marjoram. It's a Mediterranean herb in the mint family with flavors of lemon and pine. It's like a sweeter oregano. I also picked up a thyme plant, some rosemary, some basil, and this oregano plant to round out my Italian herbs inspired by my Italian seasoning blend. The Italian herbs are obviously great in pasta dishes. They're great when they're cooked with ground beef or pork. They're even great mixed with garlic butter and Parmesan cheese and then spread on bread, making the perfect garlic bread. I also grabbed this dill plant because I like to use dill in my chicken soups. And then I grabbed this mint plant because summer's right around the corner and I need mint for my mojitos and my favorite watermelon, cucumber, and feta salad. And then lastly, I picked up this garlic chives plant. So my plan is to whip these chives into some cream cheese for a garlic chive spread for my bagels. I've got eight different herbs here and my container has 11 openings. So I also picked up some white alyssum to fill the remaining holes. I thought the white flowers would look great spilling out of the sides of the container too. Like I said earlier, when selecting plants for your herb garden, start in the kitchen and select plants based off the herbs you're already cooking with. Don't be afraid to grow your own herbs. They're really easy. I actually think they're easier than most vegetables or flowering plants. And they're also a great option for the beginner gardener. I also wanted to add that container herb gardening is perfect for porch or patio gardening. You can also bring your container herb garden indoors and keep it near a bright sunny window in your kitchen or living room. All I'm trying to say is that you don't need a huge yard or some crazy raised bed garden setup to grow your own herbs. So let's get to planting. I picked up this garden soil from Ace. It's their all-purpose garden soil with fertilizer already mixed in. It says that it feeds for up to six months, so I thought I'd give it a try for this project. I'm gonna start by filling the container with soil right up to where the lower set of openings start on the sides of the pot. And then I'll plant some of my herbs to fill those openings. And then I'll repeat the process for these upper openings. And then finally, I'll finish up by planting a few plants here at the top of the container.
So I cleaned up the pot a little bit, got some of the excess dirt wiped off, but check it out. It looks so good. I'm so excited with how this turned out. So I didn't water these herbs in because the soil was really wet, so they should be good for the first few days. But I think this looks so great. I think it turned out way better than I imagined. The container, all the plants, it came together into something really unique and really special for my garden. Here's a look from the other side. So I'm gonna keep these plants here on my back patio where they're gonna get the perfect amount of light. So most of these plants like full sun and some like part sun, but I strategically planted the full sun plants on one side of the pot and then the part sun plants on the other so that I can place the container in a way that the full sun plants face the sun. My patio faces south, so they're all gonna get a good amount of afternoon sun. So this is a really great spot for them. Overall, I'm so excited that this container turned out so great. I hope I've inspired you to get outside and plant your own container herb garden. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons so you can hang out with me in future videos. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.